everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about us going to clear creek in hawking hills ohio this is on our way down to hawking hills if you see us going over the line a little bit and then speeding up that is because we were trying to figure out what was going on with our vehicle i thought we were not able to get out of gear but it was actually the mount at mats underneath of the accelerator it actually got caught and then we weren't able to actually press on the brake because it was also caught on the map so that was a little lesson learned so that was a little bit scary going around the corners and down and up the hill <laughs> but we got to figure it out luckily so this is the road that we took every single day to go to and from the places that we wanted to visit uh, we stayed in a little cabin that was really nice. It was able to hold about six to eight people. And I'll insert in the description below where exactly we stayed. So if you wanted to book a trip, you could. So shortly after we arrived at the cabin and unloaded everything that we had brought with us, we decided to have a small dinner and then go for a little walk around where we were staying. So my son and I found this little petting zoo, which we did not actually pet the animals, but <laughs> we just kind of walked by them and watched them and talked to them. My son had a fun time doing that. He loved seeing cows and horses and all the animals that they had here. So the reason for our walk was actually because I thought the beach and the water was really close by us, which actually you have to drive about like 10 minutes or so away to go to uh, Lake Logan in Hawking Hills. But walking down and up the street, we walked probably about three miles and then I turned back around after I figured that we weren't going to be seeing any beaches or anything. So I just let my son have fun looking at all the animals and all the butterflies along the hike. Just a little warning, uh, these lights will be changing colors and it will be bright. So if you are sensitive, make sure to just fast forward this part. It's about almost a minute long. But during the evening time, I wanted to hop in the hot tub and check out all the stuff that they had on there with how fast the bubbles could go or how slow what type of hot tub that we actually had and they had changing color lights which was pretty cool my son actually loved that part so i stayed in for about an hour which wasn't the plan the heat was actually all the way down low so it wasn't even that hot in there it's kind of cold but i decided to just stay in here for a little bit to let it heat up to 100 which it didn't end up getting that hot also, I heard something, and obviously I know that there's animals out here because we are in the woods, but I just want to make sure that there wasn't anything around me before I had gone inside, and I wanted to check on the fire as well to make sure that it was going out, so I kept checking on that um, for about another 15 minutes, and I just enjoyed listening to nature. On our second day at Clear Creek, we spontaneously decided to go on a boat ride at Logan Lake in Hawking Hills. My boyfriend had the honor of driving the boat for two hours. While we fished, washed birds, caught fish, and enjoyed the view, uh, we only had the two hours. However, we were ready to go back to the cabin because of how hot it was outside. Once we arrived back to the cabin, we didn't really do anything except make lunch and enjoy swinging on the front porch. I was getting a little restless so I wanted to venture out so I decided to take my son to the park at the end of the street. 
So the loop is only about 0.87 of a mile, but we managed to spend an hour out here watching all the butterflies, looking at all the pretty wildflowers, and enjoyed the creek view and all the animals that we came across. When I got back to the cabin, my boyfriend was cooking a pre-birthday dinner for me, and he attempted to sneak out to the truck, but I was following him and it was kind of funny because he turned around and told me to get my butt back into the cabin because he was doing something. Of course I rolled my eyes and I walked back into the cabin. Well when he came back in the house he had asked me if I wanted an early birthday present and I said no with a smile and then I laughed. So he handed me a pretty pink wrapped box and I opened it and there was a beautiful diamond rose gold ring. He got on his knees and said something romantic to me, which I can't remember at this moment because it was a really overwhelming moment there. <laughs> but he ended up proposing to me and of course I said yes to him. So after he proposed, we ate my special dinner and then we ended up sitting around the campfire for a couple hours and ended up roasting some marshmallows for a dessert. And of course, after the fire went out a little bit, we did have to finish the night up with getting in the hot tub and watching a movie. Day three was my birthday and we had decided that we wanted to go for another boat ride. So again, we were just out for only two hours and I decided I did not want to fish that day and I just wanted to relax and drive the boat. Well, of course the boat was malfunctioning and my dad had to take over and my fiance actually ended up catching the first fish and of course we released the fish as well. And my son enjoyed seeing everyone uh, catching the fish and releasing them. And my parents uh, kept catching fish back and forth. And my fiance caught one, but it ended up getting off the hook. Uh, my fish, or <laughs> my son attempted to fish, but since he's too impatient, he had to immediately reel in the worm back in but he had fun doing that so he did that for probably a good half an hour back and forth after we were done fishing i needed to get a coffee fix so we decided to go to the oasis and i ended up getting a float to try it was really good i do highly recommend going to the oasis at hawking hills there are two oasis there there's one by logan lake where we were uh fishing here and there's also another one that is down the road um they both have different coffees but also some of the same coffees which are pretty good the floats they actually only have down the road they don't actually have by the one um by logan lake so i decided i wanted to go on another hike with my son and while everyone else uh took their naps I decided along the hike I wanted to take video of my ring while it was sparkling in the sun because I thought it was really pretty and also taking photos next to uh, flowers and watching the butterflies. So I decided I also wanted to hike up a mountain on Cemetery Trail. It didn't take long to actually get to the top of the mountain. It only took about 25 to 30 minutes but once I was able to get to the top the views were absolutely amazing on both sides and i wanted to keep going since i had enough time before going out to dinner for my birthday and i also found a cemetery trail barn which had some educational history about it we didn't actually go inside because i felt it was too dangerous with my son so we just looked next to it and looked inside and around it which he thought it was really awesome and he kept 
<laughs> saying that there were cows even though that there weren't any cows inside. So we continued along with the hike and it only took about, or technically I could only walk a total of two miles up the hill a little bit farther before having to return um, because we had to come back to get ready for dinner and it takes a little bit to get my son and I both ready. <laughs> so once again, we ended up finishing the night with the hot tub along with the movie. We decided to actually skip having a fire that night just because we were all too exhausted to do any more work and we also needed to pack up to leave for the next day. La, 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 la. our last day here and this is what the cabin looked like on the front as well as on the back I didn't get to take a video of what the kitchen and the living room as well as the two other bedrooms look like but this is just a gist of a little bit of what you can get here at Clear Creek Cabins I do highly recommend coming here because it is really peaceful and it's really nice inside and they have a lot of towels for you to use um, so you don't have to bring your own, which is awesome. I did bring my own, <laughs> but I didn't end up actually using them. So, but if you want to have a party here, uh, you can have your bachelor party or, or bachelorette party. Um, it's really nice. There's hot tubs. There's... Um, stuff that you can do down the road uh you can go swimming at the beach you can go on boat rides as you could see um there's a lot to do um as well as paddle boarding and kayaking canoeing and you can take a little ducky out and go uh paddling on that as well it was kind of cute seeing a family going on that but this is pretty much what the double cabin looked like um, it does sleep um, several people. I think it said up to 16 people, and we only had five people with us, so we had a ton of room. <laughs> um, so this morning, uh, we actually ended up leaving really early um, after we cleaned up for them, and we ended up going out to breakfast and then immediately going home and unpacking uh, for that trip and doing all of the laundry. Now, if you have any questions about this vacation, please leave me a comment below and I would be more than happy to answer your questions as well as looking in the description because I'll put some more information there as well in case if I did leave anything out. Um, now, this next video is going to be a special little surprise as well since this was a major surprise for me. So, um... Stay tuned for our next video because you're going to get a little sweet surprise and I hope everyone is doing well. Take care of yourself and thank you so much for watching these videos and if you don't mind, please subscribe. It helps me out and I would love to know what's going on in your life. Have a great week. Bye!